Blackburn on the fringes of the promotion playoffs, needing the points to keep in touch with the top six. Burnley with a chance to go eighth clear of third place and looking to cement second behind the leaders, Leicester. Well, this happened last year. It is uh, a manner of protest for the Blackburn owners. We thought that was behind with the steadier waters this season, but that is the reason that that is back on. There's the touch from Rhodes, and Dunn, who has a talismanic status when it comes to this fixture, as far as the Blackburn fans are concerned. That's hung up towards Rhodes, what clever improvisation that was to even get it on target. When you look at budgets, when you look at squad size, they are punching above their weight, largely due to this fella, Danny Ings, top scorer, Scott Harfield now. Has votes in the box, goes low, Vokes gets the touch, but the flag is up. A really good run in from the back, and there's Rhodes. Evans, now Conway. This is Jason Lowe. In towards Jordan Rhodes. He's allowed to take a touch in the box. And when you allow him to do that, that is usually what happens. It might have been a while, but in the big derby, Jordan Rhodes gave Blackburn the lead. Well, I just mentioned this, as a Burnley defender, you can't allow Jordan Rose to turn and, and get a shot in on goal. You simply cannot do that, and he's gone a long time without a goal, but he continues to believe that a goal is going to come his way. He works hard to create opportunities for himself. His first touch here, absolutely outstanding, and he doesn't even look at the goal. He knows where it is, and he buries it in the corner. Absolutely no chance for Tom Eaton. He's a top striker, Jordan Rose, and once again, he's underlined that fact. It's a terrible back pass straight to Danny Ings who checks the flag. Can't finish first time or second. A gift pass up. And by Conway, Rhodes is there. So too Ben Mee. Arfield beaten to the punch. Rhodes. Back in by Lowe. Too high for Varney. Be an opportunity here. Conway's there. There's the cutback. There's the touch. Blocked off the line. Well, Lowe thought he had done enough, but he was denied by a um, routine, but very important goal line clearance from Ben Mee. There's a mistake by Jones. Jordan Rhodes could be in here. Oh, back off the post. You can't help but feel that is another massive moment in this match. Dropped in and touched him. Equalising goal for Burnley, Shackle celebrates, they've come from behind to level it up. Well, it's a brave header from Jason Shackle, but it's all about the quality of the ball from Ross Wallace. Inch perfect, this is so difficult for a left footer to drift this ball and make sure it doesn't land in the hands of Paul Robinson. There's enough pace on it, dip on it, it just drops enough to entice Shackle to, uh, to get on the end of it. Robinson can't get there, there's not a Blackburn defender around him, it's a relatively simple header, but a quality ball in. Phil can cross it. Ross Wallace. Stab back. Danny Ings, it's in! Danny Ings has turned this one around for Burnley. Is the long wait, the 35-year wait coming to an end? It just might be, courtesy of Danny Ings. Well, it's not the cleanest strike that Danny Ings has has made this season, but what an important goal this could prove to be, not just in terms of this Lancashire derby, but in terms of gaining automatic promotion. Blackburn had a few occasions here to clear their lines. Paul Robinson's not happy, he felt he was impeded by Ashley Barnes, but they just don't clear their lines. The chance comes here to clear, and they simply don't. Ross Wallace does well to keep it alive. And when he falls for Danny Ings, he does the important thing, he hits the target. Low will take it on, oh, what an effort! And a superb reaction save from Heaton.
Conway gets dead. Again, it's straight at Heaton. Rowe charging into the box, Hanley. <laughs> Celebration for which Burnley have had to wait a generation. 35 years without a win in the East Lancashire derby and Sean Dyche, perhaps on the way to the Barclays Premier League, has claimed the scout that the supporters want more than any other. They had to do it the hard way as well, coming from behind after Jordan Rhodes had given Blackburn the lead and put them in the driving seat. But Jason Shackle, the captain, and Danny Ings, the tireless worker, rolled it home. And Burnley, Andy, have the win. Well, an absolutely extraordinary second half, a really passionate Lancashire derby, we expected that. I did think Burnley could come here and do a job, but it's not always that easy in derby games, but they really kept on working, Burnley. I mean, Danny Ings, they've had a match winner all season, and that's exactly how it's proved in this game, and you can see what it means, not only to the fans, to Sean Dyche, but to the players as well. This is a huge win.